I used to complain so much about Germany having everything closed on Sundays, but I think the siesta is so much worse. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Montana and I study German and business at the University of Virginia. Today I'm going to be talking about things from Germany that I miss so so much. I'm currently studying in Barcelona, Spain for a whole semester at the university called Asade. It's a private business school here in Spain and I have actually never been to the country before this. I've studied a lot in Germany. I lived in Passau for a year and then Leipzig last summer. I love it um, but that being said, I wanted to do something different and move to Spain, but there are a lot of things here that I miss from Germany, and it's been kind of a cultural adjustment. Um, I know that's kind of crazy to say, but whenever I think about Europe, I think about going to Germany and all of the amazing German foods and activities and culture there, and so coming to Spain, it's been a lot different, and so I wanted to share some mini culture shocks from Spain in comparison to Germany. The first thing that I truly miss is German baked goods, particularly pretzels. I live next to a German bakery, it's called Brotzeit, but they don't sell pretzels, which I don't really understand because how can they call themselves like a German bakery if they don't have pretzels? I know that pretzels are more of a Bavarian thing, but in general, I feel like they sell pretzels in like Aldi and Lidl and all of those grocery stores. So they're a traditionally German thing and they do not have them, which made me really sad. There's also just very different sort of baked goods here. There's a lot more croissants and a lot more sandwiches with like ham. They have the like Iberican or Iberican, I don't know how to say it. Kind of like a really thin dried prosciutto. It's not really my favorite. A lot of bread with salami, which sounds kind of German, but it's just very different. Like they're really long, thin baguettes. And there's fewer options for like those fresh sandwiches when you go into any sort of German grocery store or bakery and they've got like the mozzarella tomato spinach sort of sandwiches and all those little sandwiches with like the kürbis, kern, brötchen. So those things I miss so much because I eat a sandwich every day and it's not as good. Not as good as Germany at all. Another thing that I miss, which is so random, but well-labeled streets. I didn't realize this, but in Germany, like most of the streets are pretty well-labeled with one of those like blue and white signs and it would say like the name of the street but here there are so many streets where you just have no clue where you are and the way you tell is that on the like stone walls it's like engraved in the stone which street it is but they all blend in and it's it's sometimes a hassle i'm like which street am i on where do i need to turn this kind of has to do with the sandwiches but sausage and schnitzel i really don't like ham and seafood people who've already been to barcelona that was definitely my fault for not realizing that Spain is big into ham and all the seafood since Barcelona is on the coast. It makes sense, but I'm just getting sick of it. I don't really like shrimp or paella. Paella has been okay. I know it's more traditionally from like more south, so maybe it's just not the best paella in Barcelona, but I definitely miss like German food, even the like knödel and what else? like spätzle and that kind of food, oh, I miss it so much. Are there any German sort of grocery stores or German restaurants in Barcelona that you know of? Please let me know. It's only been two weeks, but I'm already like, okay, no more tapas. I actually really miss like German Sundays where everything was closed as opposed to the Spain like siesta where um, stores and businesses, not always businesses, but a lot of stores are closed from around two o'clock to four o'clock. I used to complain so much about Germany having everything closed on Sundays, but I think the siesta is so much worse because one, I usually have school and it doesn't impact me as much, but like two, those are the busiest times where I'm like productive, like two to four. I'm coming back sometimes from school. I've just eaten lunch. I'm ready to like grocery shop or go get something. And all the stores are closed. And it's so frustrating because not all of them publicize online their hours. So a lot of times you don't know if they're gonna be closed or not. Versus in Germany, it was like Sunday, everything's closed. I know it's gonna be closed. I've got to do my grocery shopping on Saturday. But now I've just really got to plan it out more. It really miss Mula or Kaufland. I really liked that you could go and find like anything you needed there. 
versus in Barcelona the big thing is little tiny stores for every single thing that you could need and I definitely said this in like a German culture shock video where I was saying that oh Germany has so many different stores like you go to a bakery to get your own bread and you go to I don't know a clothing shop to get your own clothes instead of like a Walmart but Barcelona is even worse like there are so many tiny stores there's like a paper store and a school supplies store and a clothing store and a gardening store and all these little stores and all I needed was a pair of scissors, like school scissors. And I went to four different stores and they kept telling me, go to here, go to here. And I could not find them, just a cheap pair of scissors. Another culture shock, which honestly is probably a good thing for me, but I would get ice cream so much in Germany because I think, I think now it's probably what, like 140 a scoop, maybe 150. Not sure how much inflation has impacted Germany's ice cream prices, but here it's like 330, 350 for one scoop of ice cream. And I just can't bring myself to pay that much. Like I go out and buy those little mini ice cream bars and they cost like less than two years and you get 12 of them. The ones dipped in chocolate, they're so good. But anyway, saying this is a complaint, but it's probably a good thing because if it was cheap, I would buy ice cream all the time. Um, but I wasn't expecting the price to be so different than in Germany where I was just there over the summer And it was not up to two euros a scoop yet even just looking around I don't think that there's as many and they're definitely a little bit different than the Germany one They're kind of bougier They oftentimes sell like more drinks or more baked goods and ice cream combined um, Whereas a lot of the like ice cream shops in Germany are they sell coffee and drinks But not necessarily like baked goods too Oh, and another thing is that these ice cream stores almost always sell churros not always but a lot of them sell churros and like things like that so you could buy that in addition to like eat with your ice cream or you could just buy it separately the very last thing that i miss is fun german playgrounds to clarify i would not go on the children's playgrounds but i think that they were so cool and they had so many like just intricate designs and random things that I'd never seen in the US. So I know they had like a lot of these like webbing things and like metal looking like wood combined. They were just very, very cool playgrounds that were so creative and so fun. And it just looked like if you were a kid, you would have such a good time. Versus the ones here are more normal, I would say. Again, this could be attributed to the fact that it's a big city. They're not going to have massive, cool playgrounds. But all the ones I've seen have been pretty small and more like the U.S. ones. So no, like, shock. No shock there and just not as fun. Hopefully you learned something about this culture shock video. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much again for watching this video. Bleib gesund. Bis nächste Mal. Und tschüss.